sometimes when we look in our mouths, we don't know what we're seeing. In this case, if you look at the premolar, this is the second premolar on the upper, and there's a little mirror that we're looking at, you can see like a gray spot in between the teeth right over there. And around the teeth is also a lot of whitish material, and this is plaque. And plaque adheres to the teeth, and that's what you're really brushing when you brush your teeth to get all that off. And it gets caught in between the teeth, and that grayness there is actual decay where the tooth has decalcified and the bacteria has caused the tooth structure to turn black or a dark brown. As we shall see, this is the dentist taking out the enamel from the top portion of the tooth and the darkness gets bigger and you will Notice how what looks like a little gray spot eventually turns into a fairly substantial area of decay. And that's why the patient wants to be flossing, also keeping track of what's going on in his own mouth, but also to have the dentist using x-rays to see in between the teeth and to go on a, in on a regular basis so that we can eliminate having large fillings. Now in this case, this would be a medium size area of decay. It's going to get larger and it will go all the way from one side of the tooth to the other in terms of the gum area. And uh, that's very, very common. You can see the dark brown and next to it is the white decalcified area that's been eaten away by the acid. And uh, some foods uh, that contain sugar uh, will uh, cause this to happen more rapidly than others. And that's one of the reasons why you'd like to have a healthy diet. In this case, you can see the brown that's still there in the white decalcification, and the dentist wants to remove the white decalcified area because otherwise the filling won't last as long. And then also the brown area needs to be removed if it's soft. Sometimes a dark brown area will be hard, and uh, uh, that's where we'll take different instruments. Here the white area that's decalcified is being removed in the corner and that's necessary in order to have a filling that is a little more enduring. And this instrument is called a spoon excavator. It goes in and you will see a little bit of the tooth being uh, uh, peeled away and so that we know that there's still bacteria that's uh, a little more active as opposed to inactive bacteria and we'd like to remove that and here's another instrument uh, that allows us to go in and remove the soft portion of the tooth being very careful to uh, go slow so that we don't remove any hard tooth structure if possible and here's double checking and there's still a little bit of material there so we know that we've got to go back and uh, use just a little more of the drill and to make sure that everything's nice and hard. Now, as you can see, this is getting a little bit deeper than what we would normally like to see, but we'd like to make sure that there isn't any active bacteria up underneath the filling, otherwise the filling won't last as long. And we'll get it all cleaned out and double checked. And now we're putting in uh, a little liner. Um, this is a modified glass ionomer called Vitra Bond and uh, it uh, adheres to the tooth and has fluoride in it and as it's dried off you can see the little bit that was left. 
here the filling's been put into place and we're polishing it really nicely and making it so that it'll be nice to have a floss to floss the tooth but also when you look at the tooth it really doesn't look so bad but it's still not your own tooth.